guys, it's Ellie and in today's video, I am unboxing the Books and Beyond box and in this box, they have sent me the Gothic box which was their theme of the month this month and yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what's inside and if you wanna get a box or any merchandise from them, you can just go to their website which is being linked in the description below and you can get some cool stuff for yourself. This video is not sponsored. Honestly, I feel that they are the best book box in the country right now and you should be definitely getting something from them if you have not already. So I'll just not speak anymore because if I start about Books and Beyond Box, I can go on for one day. So the first thing that they have sent me and I will be marking this box out of 10. And I think this is, uh, this is lights. This is fairy lights with in some really, really cool. It has a really, really cool outer covering. And this is very useful for me because I'm learning photography and uh, I think this is gonna be a really cool prop so I give this prop I think uh, one marks because it is really really cool and it is gonna be very useful the theme is gothic and I think this is sort of a Halloween niche I think that this box should have been scheduled somewhere in November I'm not sure if it was okay the next thing they have sent me is I think this is a mask okay this this is really cool let me open it one second do you have masks do you have uh, do you celebrate halloween in your area because we really don't but i wish we did okay 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 i i look cool shall shall i wear it for the rest of the video <laughs> um i'll just i think i'll just wear it for a while i feel very awkward without my spectacles on I can't really see myself in the camera. Ooh, this is cool. But I think I need to wear my spectacles over these because I feel very awkward without my spectacles. Ooh, how do I look? Do I look mysterious? Do I? How do I look, guys? Comment below with uh, how is Heli looking? Is she looking gothic? Okay, the next thing. I really need my spectacles. I look like a cheap version of Zoro. <laughs> I really find this thing cool, but this is not really of any actual use to me. So I'll give it 0 0.5. So the score for this box is 1.5 now. The next thing is this, uh, this cute bag and this is recyclable. I am trying to live a zero waste life. And it will probably take me one year to actually implement that completely. Okay, so this is a cute sub bag which you can use to carry your little th some things. Give this one point because this is very useful. So uh, if you're wondering why I am giving this box marks because I really feel that there are so many boxes out there which give you stuff that you don't really have practical use for and I really hate that. So I am one who thinks that you should be buying boxes but only if they give you useful stuff. There's no use spending so much money if it's not going to yield you returns and if you get stuff that is not of any use. So there's a letter and, I, and this is a personal letter that they sent to their subscribers. So I will not be reading this out. When you get your own box, you should be reading it. They have sent a postcard and this is very cute but I really don't have any use for it. Okay, the next thing is a pretty soap and I had one soap from Books and Beyond Mox earlier and right now my eye is straining so I'm gonna open this. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> well, okay, but it was really fun wearing that for a while. <laughs> uh, do I look normal now or was I looking better with that on? <laughs> but okay, they sent this pretty charcoal soap and I really, really loved their previous soap and I used it for a long time. So I think this is a very good product. So I'll give this product one marks. So that that is, I guess, 3.5 marks for this box. Okay, they gave me a pretty batch and it says, I've discovered the magic of Cressida Cowell. Guys, just look at this pretty batch. Just look at it. Is it focusing? Is it focusing? I don't think it is. But yeah, it, it is so pretty and uh, I really think this is useful because I can just attach it here or attach it here or attach it here. Oh, that would be weird. But yeah, I really think that this is really nice. So one points for this. 
the next thing here what is this i have no idea just let me open it i really like the color what is this is something like a sheet this is a pillow cover i guess okay sorry okay this is like a sheet okay i could be a magician Okay, this is a tapestry and it says, I am no bird and no net ensnares me. This is a quote from Jane Eyre. Oh my gosh, this is just pretty. This is pretty. And I, I don't think it's very useful though because I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. So, despite this thing being very pretty and very beautiful, I think I'll give it 0. 0.75. Because, uh, yeah, no, I don't really have a lot of use for this. The next thing that they have here is this spider, this cute spider and I really like this. I can just put it on the lens and that will be very bad for the lens though. But oh my god, this spider is so cute and okay, they have really really executed the gothic theme very well. But uh, once again, this is not something that I am gonna use practically so, but it's really really cute. So let's keep it here. Book of the box is... The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein by Kirsten White. Okay, I have seen this book all over my feed on Instagram lately. So it's a cool thing on Instagram. And I'm going to read out the blurb for you guys if you are interested in only the book. So the blurb goes like, Elizabeth Lavenza hasn't had a proper meal in weeks. Her thin arms are covered with bruises from her caregiver. And she's on the verge of being thrown into the streets until she is brought to the home of Victor Frankenstein, an unsmiling solitary boy who has everything except a friend. Victor is her escape from misery. Elizabeth does everything she can to make herself indispensable and it works. She is taken in by the Frankenstein family and rewarded with a warm bed, delicious food and dresses of the finest silk. Soon, she and Victor are inseparable. But their new life comes at a price. As years pass, Elizabeth's survival depends on managing, Victor, on managing Victor's dangerous temper and indulging in his every whim no matter how depraved. Okay, this is getting dark. Behind her blue eyes and sweet smile lies the calculating heart of a girl determined to stay alive, whatever the cost, as the world she knows is consumed by darkness. Oh gosh, this book is actually timed with the 200th anniversary of Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, which is an amazing book in itself. And I really think this book is gonna be amazing. The blurb is so good, right? And guys, look at this cover. So definitely I'm going to give this book to, this book box two points for this. So I think the number of products in this, let's count it. And let's also count the marks so that we can just mark it out of 10. So this is one, this is two. They also sent a promotional bookmark, but uh, this is from Hashit, so I won't count it. Um, one, two, three, this cutie. I can't wait for my sister to come home and I can just uh, scare her with this. One, two, three. Four, five, five, this bag, cute bag, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So, okay, so there are nine products, and the number I've given it is one, two, three. And I give it 0.5, right? 3.5, 4.5. Okay, I why did I give this 0 0.75? I have, I have to do some maths now. 4.5, 5, 5.25, 2. So that comes to 7.25. And I think uh, that makes the box about 7.5 out of 10, which is a really good score. So yeah, if you want to check out this box, the link is in the description below. And once again, this video was not sponsored, but I was sent this box for free and I was at my will to make a video and I wanted to. So yeah, I made it. Let me know in the comment section below which product in this box you loved the most because I really, really loved uh, this mask, but I really don't have any use for it, but I really love it and uh, that's crazy. And honestly, I thought that this is something else when I saw it for the first time. But anyway, uh, let's keep that fact aside.
<laughs> but yeah, this was a lovely box and this is the gothic theme box. You can get any box that you want from them. You can also customize boxes according to your will. They have a themed monthly box, but if you don't want their theme, you can just customize their box for yourself. I get their box on my birthdays. And I really love them and I would highly recommend that to you. If you like this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment below with what you look for when you are going to a book box company. And let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more unboxings of stuff on my channel. Because this is something that I've not done in a long while, but I really enjoyed doing it. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and till my next video. Bye bye.